Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1990 Karl Schumacher Germany 2 Mark coin to Deutsche Mark, and going over its values, information, history, mintage, and context. But first I want to say thank you to MA Shops. MA-Shops.com is an online marketplace with a really nice variety of ancient U.S. and world coins that you should be aware of. They also have paper money, stamps, and other collectibles, so head on over there after this video. But Kurt Schumacher was one of the leaders of the Social Democrat Party in Germany from 1945 to 1952. Um, and the 1979 commemorative year uh, was 30 years of the Federal Republic of Germany, or the Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Um, on the back, we see a German eagle, which is sort of a classic design, and then it says to Deutsche Mark. The G there is going to stand for Karlsruhe, which is one of multiple mints that would have been producing these coins. They made this commemorative from 1979 to 1993. 1990 was one of the uh, most minted years. We'll talk about that more in a moment, but it's slightly larger than a U.S. quarter. It's seven grams of copper nickel um, clad on a nickel core, um, and the coins were demonetized in 2001. One West Germany um, would have reunified in this year, so that's why they produce so many. And the coins can still be exchanged at a Bundesbank or a federal bank branch um, at a rate of 1.95 marks to one euro. So this is base value around 1.2 uh, US dollars. Um, in terms of some of the different mints uh, at which 1990 uh, could have been found at, it would be either at D for Munich. Um, which is 18 million, F for Stuttgart, which had 21 million, um, Karlsruhe was the lowest at 12 million, and then uh, Hamburg had 18 million or nearly 19 million. The value is about $1.20 to $1.50. A really nice uncirculated version can bring like $3, particularly if there's toning, but uh, it's not overly valuable. One interesting thing is that the this would be the West German mark. Um, the East German had a technically government-enforced same exchange rate, but on the black market was 10 to 20% of the value of the West German one. But on reunification this year, they made them whole at two East German marks equaled one West German. So that added some financial stability and was good as a reconciliatory move. Um, but that pretty much brings us to the end of this one. Not any crazy value, um, but a good coin to be aware of, and good to know that's Karl Schumacher, the SDP leader after World War II. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram, at thecoindictionary, and I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.